All right, and this number is 191. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> o Jesus, you unsanctified heart, Alas, the forty days complete To give us courage to perform The penance fallen nature needs Be present to your church that mourns With sorrow over past excess And tries to make my fervent prayer Atonement for the sins of men. By your great mercies, love and grace, forgive our straying in the past. O sinless Christ against all sin, in future keep us on our guard. That purified by Lenten fasts and the negation of our wills, we may prepare to celebrate the Paschal joys of risen life. Let all creation worship you, O blessed forgiving Trinity. And we, like heart and born anew, shall sing a new song to the Lord. Amen. Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is Lord be. Who is like the Lord our God, who is risen on high to his throne? He has stooped from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung he be raises the poor. To ascend in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a hope, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. Jesus did not count equality with God, nothing to be glad.
He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal. For he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surrounded me, the snares of death, with the anguish of the tomb. They caught me, sorrow and distress. I call on the Lord, saying, O Lord my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple ones. I was helpless, so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness. Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way, on an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemies' greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in Him, hold firm and take heart, who hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. 
Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things by your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God, men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive our word and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. From the letter to the Romans. The justice of God has been manifested apart from the law, even though both law and prophets bear witness to it, that justice of God which works through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. All men have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. All men are now undeservedly justified by the gift of God through the redemption wrought in Christ Jesus. Through his blood, God made him the means of expiation for all who believe. He did so to manifest his own justice for the sake of remitting sins committed in the past, to manifest his justice in the present by way of forbearance, so that he might be just and might justify those who believe in Jesus. Mode 6. Servitui. Si. 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the holy. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ our Lord has warned us to watch and pray to avoid temptation. With our whole heart let us pray to Him. Jesus our Christ, you promise to be with those who pray in your name. Help us always to pray with you to the Father in the Holy Spirit. Bridegroom of the Church, cleanse her from every stain. Teach her to walk in hope and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Friend of the human race, teach us concern for our neighbor as you have commanded, that all may see you more clearly as the light of the world. King of peace, give your peace in the world that your presence may reveal your saving power in every place. Pray for all the intentions people entrust to us. For the students at the High School, High School, uh, for my family, and for greater humility. Open the door of eternal happiness to all the dead. Welcome them into the glory of unending life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Let us pray. <clears throat> may your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go into peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of March the 18th. The year of grace 386, the heavenly birth of St. Cyril, Bishop of Jerusalem and Doctor of the Church. Initially given the responsibility of preparing catechumens for entry into the Christian mysteries, he labored on behalf of truth and unity in the Church at the First Ecumenical Council of Constantinople. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints, whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 